okay dear students so let us see what is there in this question so reading this a substance is heated at constant to power so the rate of giving heat is constant the graph shows how the temperature t of the substance varies with the time t as the state of the substance changes from liquid to gas so this is liquid this is phase change and this becomes gas what can be determined from the graph okay fine for that we need to read the options now so the options are a specific heat capacity of the gas is smaller than the specific heat capacity of liquid fine so it means that these options want to um, compare specific heat of gas and specific heat of liquid so we know that the slope if the slope is more so the specific heat is lesser okay like the energy is given at the same rate let us do it like that so q is equal to mc delta t now we are talking about the power the rate at which the heat was supplied so we need to divide this equation by delta t so it will be delta q divided by delta t this is the rate at which heat is supplied it becomes m into c into delta t by del small small t so this is the gradient of this graph it is the slope of the graph because on y axis you have capital t on x axis you have small t so the gradient or the slope or the inclination of this line is given by delta t by delta t now this becomes constant because it is not going to change for liquid as well as for gas so obviously mass is also not going to change so obviously if delta t by t is more in the case of liquid c will be lesser in the case of liquid so c l is going to be lesser than the specific heat of gas and what will be this the specific heat capacity of gas is larger than the specific heat capacity of liquid so, so B option is absolutely correct. A is completely wrong. And what about C? The specific latent heat of fusion of the substance is less than the specific latent of vaporization. But we are only concerned with vaporization. We are not talking about the fusion. So these are not right. Here also there is fusion. So it means that no doubt our answer should be P. And let us verify it from uh, the mark scheme also. And yes, the answer is B. So this is how we do it. My dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and share the YouTube channel with all your friends. All the best.